All right, so to use the mixer with your PC, first plug it in, obviously, with the USB port, and then uh, get this driver and install it. It is the Steinberg USB driver. You can find it on the steinberg.net. Yamaha also has it on their website. Once you've done that and you go to the device manager, you should see the proper driver. If you do not, try uninstalling, reinstalling, rebooting, or you can go through these steps here. And if you do have this one and it's not selected, go ahead and install it. If you have the default generic, then uh, you're gonna have some problems. So try to install the proper one. Once you've done that, go to privacy. You're gonna wanna go to microphone and you're gonna want to enable app access to mic in Windows. Without this, you won't be able to get any mic input. Once you've done that, you should be able to get input into your mic from the mixer right here in the line. So if I go to the mixer here, there it is. Got my microphones in the first channel, so all the other ones don't matter. I've got this, this uh, main volume level on the carrot there, and then I just turn the gain up until it's loud enough to be good, which is in this case halfway. Uh, you do have a compressor on the first two channels, so best for voice mic. And I'm using a quarter inch phone from uh, another device that's sending sound, but you can use if you're using a powered condenser, make sure that you enable phantom power. So you've got your monitor headphones plugged in here. Make sure that you don't put them in a different jack. It's the upper right. And then you've got the volume for your headphones right here. If you click this button up, you'll be able to hear yourself talk and all the stuff being mixed. And there's no delay on that, which is really nice. If you click it down, it mutes the, uh, the monitor volume from the mics. So this one is kind of a unique um, channel. This is the PC channel, so if I go to playback and I'm sending anything from the PC from line, it will come through here. Now if this is up, all you do is hear this in the monitor because it's to monitor. If you click it down, it treats it like any other jack and it will mix your PC output over USB into the main mixer channel like it were a microphone in any other channel. Uh, pretty easy to understand once you play with it a bit. So if this isn't lighting up the way you like it, try changing the gains up and you need to uh, raise the stereo level. So I just put it over here. Um, FX is easy to work. Pretty much this is a push button so you can turn it. So let's see here. Turn this and it changes it and it flashes. Once you found the effect you want, you click it. Then you have the min max, which modulates the effect uh, strength. Once you're good with that, you can go ahead and turn it on and you'll have the reverb or whatever. You can change the level of the FX here for all channels and then you can also just change the FX on each one here. So uh, pretty simple. Three band EQ here, two band EQ on these channels. FX is on every channel. And then you've got the stereo mix and uh, I think that's about it. The rest of these are just spare inputs for different forms.